In this video, we'll be going over remove duplicates from sorted array 2. So given a sorted array nums, remove the duplicates in place such that duplicates appear at most twice and return the new length. Do not allocate extra space for another array. You must do this by modifying the input array in place with all of one extra memory. So our first example, we have 111223. For the number 1, it has appeared three times. We want to appear at most twice in our output array. So we have 1, 1, 1, and 1 here. And then for our second number, it appears twice. So we just place the second number here. And for the third number, it appears once. So we can just move the one, uh, the one number here. And the length of the resulting array is 5. So we return a 5. Let's go over the dot process. The input array is sorted in ascending order. This means the elements that are the same are grouped together. We can implement a two pointer approach. One pointer i will stay on the left side to populate numbers that appears at most twice. And then one pointer j will be scanning forward for new elements to be populated at pointer i. Since we want each number to only appear twice, we will need to keep track of the frequency of the current number. We can call it frequency x for the current number. Then for each of the elements, num, if the frequency, if the current frequency x is less than or equal to 2, we can populate num at pointer i. Let's go with the pseudocode. So we're going to create two variables. So i is our left pointer, initially 0, and count is our, is our, the frequency of the current character. And then we're, we're going to iterate through the indices of the input array, denoted as j, our right pointer. And then we're going to increment count, which basically increments the frequency of the current character. And then if count is less than or equal to 2, this means we can still populate the current elements at pointer i. So we're going to set nums i to, to nums j, the current elements, and then we're going to move our left pointer, so we're going to increment i. Then if, if j is at the, if j is at the last index, or the current element is not equal to the next element, this means we will need to reset our count. So I'm going to set count back to zero. Then we're going to return i, which is the length of the new array, of the resulting array. Now let's go over the time and space complexities of time complexities of n, where n is the length of the input array. of n is the two-pointer approach, and the space complexity is of 1. Let's go over the code. So we're going to create our two variables, our left pointer and our current frequency, and we're going to iterate through the indices, which represents our right pointer, and then we're going to increment counts for the current, for the current number. And if count is less than or equal to 2, we want to place our current element at pointer i. So we're going to nums i is good. And then we're going to increment it equals to nums j. Then if, if j is at the last index or the current element is not equal to the next element, we want to reset our count back to 0. And then we can return i.
Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below. Like and subscribe for more videos that will help you pass the technical interview.